Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our next MCQ is the right and left cerebral hemispheres are connected by a thick band of nerve fibers called option A medulla, option B corpus callosum, option C pons, option D hippocampus. Our correct answer is B corpus callosum. Our next MCQ is the part of brain which guides smooth and accurate motions and maintains body position is called option A cerebrum, option B cerebellum, option C pons, option D medulla. Our correct answer is B cerebellum. Our next MCQ is which one of the following is the effect of sympathetic nervous system? Option A constriction of bronchi Option B decrease in heart rate Option C poromores digestion or peristalsis Option D dilates the pupil The correct answer is D dilates the pupil Our next MCQ is High levels of aluminium may contribute to the onset of which one of the following? Option A. Parkinson's disease. Option B. Epilepsy. Option C. Alzheimer's disease. Option D. Gonorrhea. Our correct answer is C. Alzheimer's disease. Our next MCQ is Testosterone is produced by which one of the following? Option A. Sertoline cells. Option B. Germinal epithelial cells. Option C. Interstitial cells. Option D. Spermatogonia. Our correct answer is C. Interstitial cells. Our next MCQ is the oocyte released during ovulation is in option A anaphase 1 option B porophase 1 option C metaphase 1 option D metaphase 2 our correct answer is D metaphase 2 our next MCQ is the yellowish glandular structure formed after the release of egg from follicle is called option A corpus callosum option B graphene follicle option C corpus luteum option D follicle atresia the correct answer is C corpus luteum our next MCQ is on puberty the development of primary follicles is stimulated by option A ICSH interstitial cell stimulating hormone option B follicle cell stimulating hormone or FSH option C LH luteinizing hormone option D estrogen our correct answer is B FSH our next MCQ is the causative agent of a sexually transmitted disease that affects mucous membrane of the urinogenital tract is option A Staphylococcus aureus option B Treponema pallidum option C Neisseria gonorrhea option D Escherichia coli our correct answer is C Neisseria gonorrhea our next MCQ is in a human vertebral column the number of vertebrae is 7. Option A, cervical. Option B, thoracic. Option C, lumbar. Option D, sacrum. Our correct answer is A, cervical. Our next MCQ is, which one of the following structures hold the bone together? Option A giants, option B cartilages, option C fibrous capsules, option D ligaments, 
Our correct answer is D. Ligaments. Our next MCQ is Which one of the following cartilages is the most abundant in a human body? Option A. Elastic cartilage. Option B. Chondrous cartilage. Option C. Fibrous cartilage. Option D. Haline cartilage. Our correct answer is D. Haline cartilage. Our next MCQ is The repeated protein pattern of myofibrils is called Option A. Sarcomere. Option B. Zyomere. Option C. Sarcolema. Option D. Cross bridges. Our correct answer is A. Sarcomere. Our next MCQ is When more energy is required in muscle contraction, then that energy can also be produced by which one of the following as a secondary source? Option A. Glucose. Option B. Phosphocretin. Option C. Fructose. Option D. Lactic Acid. Our correct answer is B. Phosphocretin. Our next MCQ is Which one of the following is a steroid hormone? Option A. Glucagon. Option B. Thyroxine. Option C. Epinephrine. Option D. Estrogen. Our correct answer is D. Estrogen. Our next MCQ is The gonadotrophic hormones of anterior lobe of pituitary include Option A. Prolactin, thyroid stimulating hormone, somatotrophin hormone. Option B. Follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, prolactin. Option C. Adrenocorticotrophic hormone, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone. Option D. Luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone. Our correct answer is B. Follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, and prolactin. Our next MCQ is Overactivity of cortical hormone of adrenal gland causes Option A. Addison's disease Option B. Parkinson's disease Option C. Cushing's disease Option D. Down's syndrome Our correct answer is C. Cushing's disease Our next MCQ is How many iodine atoms are present in thyroxine? Our option A three, option B four, option C two, option D five. Our correct answer is A three. Our next MCQ is T lymphocytes recognize antigen and attack microorganisms or transplanted organ and tissues. This effect is called option A cell mediated response option b humoral immune response option c active immunity option d passive immunity our correct answer is b humoral immune response our next mcq is which part of antibody recognizes the antigen during immune response option a heavy part option b light part Option C, constant part. Option D, variable part. Our correct answer is D, variable part.